Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moan. And the topic of this 10 minute moan is a bizarre solution that one SMP MSP has come up with to give us gender equality in Scotland, which actually I think gives us anything but equality. However, we shall look at what Ruth McGuire has suggested. Um, the story's covered in the Scotsman today, and the headline is Prostitution. SMP backbencher Ruth McGuire says men who buy sex must be criminalised to gain gender equality in Scotland. Ruth McGuire, MSP and campaign group A Model for Scotland, say the burden of criminality needs to be shifted off the women selling sex and onto the men buying sex. I don't think that's actually technically true. However, we'll continue with the story and discuss it as required. <clears throat> now, an NSP backbencher says the government needs to criminalise men <coughs> who buy sex in order to get true gender equality in Scotland. So to get gender equality, we have to criminalise half the population. Right. However, she's unlikely to see, sorry, she is likely to see pushback from the government's Green partners who say they will not support such a move. Ruth Maguire, MSP and campaign group A Model for Scotland are calling for legislation on prostitution in Scotland to be overhauled, shifting the criminality off the women selling sex and onto the men buying sex. Now, I'm not quite sure that's how the law works. However, it does get covered later on in the story. They want to see the Scottish government follow other countries that have changed their laws on prostitution in this way, such as Norway, Sweden, Iceland, Ireland and France. Speaking to the steamy politics podcast, Ms Maguire said, <clears throat> at the moment in Scotland, prostitution itself, the exchange of sexual services for money is legal, but the associated activities such as public soliciting, operating a brothel and pimping are criminal offences. Now, the first thing I'll say on this, I am not a legal expert. I will bow to Ms Maguire's more um, senior knowledge on this particular instance. When she says the exchange of sexual services for money is legal, but the associated activities such as public soliciting, operating a brothel and pimping are criminal offences. I think that's quite logic to see that making these things illegal, the, 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 the brothels and the pimping, etc., are there to actually help women. Because I would suggest that majority of the pimping and brothels are probably owned by men. Men who make money out of prostituting women. That's how it normally works, okay? So to have any laws in place that do that, I think, is not a bad thing. The law also, she says, uh, it makes it legal to actually exchange sexual services for money. So the woman's part in this is not legal. Unless the woman is running a brothel or pimping herself, then potentially illegal, or if another woman was pimping a woman, then they could be liable to be breaking the law. But I kind of think that prostitution is quite a, an iffy subject to get right, okay? There's probably not a country in the world got prostitution laws that fulfil everybody's needs and everybody's requirements. But I think one that has the operating of brothels and the pimping part of the whole exchange protected women I kind of think that's probably not a bad thing. Let's go on. Men who exploit women by paying for sex enjoy impunity. No, they don't. It's impossible to enjoy impunity for doing something that isn't illegal. Impunity would suggest that you are immune from prosecution under a law that you could be breaking. Now, if a man pays for sex and what you've got is a law that actually makes that bit legal, then nobody's immune, nobody's got impunity because there is no law you're breaking. However, but the women who are abused by men through prosecution face penalties for soliciting. That's a weird thing to say because women being abused by men in the act of prostitution should get ch charged. That, that, that's a no-brainer. If any man abuses a woman, whether it's during the act of prostitution or not, they should seek charges. What she's saying is, 
The women who are abused by men through prosecution face penalties for soliciting. Well, aye, if she's soliciting herself, pimping herself, or running a brothel, then aye. But to suggest that in some way the two things are intrinsically linked, I think is wrong because women who are abused by men deserve all the protection they can, and there's lots of protection there if anybody wants to abuse a woman. So I'm kind of at a loss why, how and why she couples this together. But this is a thing that a lot of people, sort of woke people do, where they tie two things together that aren't necessarily entwined. Yes, the act of abusing a woman who you paid to have sex with could, you know, potentially be there in a thing because of the woman soliciting, but it's two separate, two separate crimes. That one does not necessarily lead to the other. It, f it feels the current legal situation is hugely unjust and you can see who is profiting and who is protected and it's not the woman at the heart of it. I kind of can't agree with that either. The current legislation does protect the women. She protects them from being pimped and protects them from the, the illegal uh, act of somebody operating a brothel and making a lot of money off this woman's situation. So I think to say that the women are not protected by current law is completely loopy. They are protected. And you can see who is profiting. Well, yeah. There's only, there should only be two people profiting out of prostitution. That's the woman who is selling her service, or the bugger further up the tree that's making her do it and profiteering. And I kind of think the ones up above or the problem, but the woman who is selling her sex for money is obviously profiting. So you can see clearly who's profiting. The prostitute, which, in my opinion, is kind of all right. The ones who are profit, I don't think it's all right, is if somebody's pimping them, okay? And it's not the woman at the heart of it. it this is just like, let's grab at any subject you can consider and try and wokeify it. Around 4% of Scottish men have paid for sex in the last five years. I totally disagree with that statistic. I think the statistic of the men who have had sex in the past five years is probably 100% of them have paid for it. But that's another topic, okay? Because there's lots of ways you can pay for sex. And um, not every man in the last five years has had sex. So, anyway, the majority being single men aged between 25 and 34 in managerial and professional jobs. I think what she's suggesting here is the majority of people who pay prostitutes are male between 25 and 34 and in managerial and professional jobs. Kind of makes sense. You're probably hornier than the ages of 25 to 34 and prostitutes aren't free. So you would probably need to be in a managerial or professional job to pay for it. Miss Maguire wants any legislation reform to include bamming pimping websites. That's not a bad idea. Which the majority of prostitution in Scotland is not run through. The only problem with banning all these websites is these women, according to you, are not breaking the law because selling yourself for sex, in your words, is not illegal. So where do they get their customers? Where do they make their living? So that's quite a dangerous thing to be asking to get banned. The Scottish Government has already classed prostitution as a form of violence against women. <clears throat> that I can understand if they're being pimped. But if a woman decides, I'm going to need to make some money, I'm going to sell my body, and it's done in a safe manner, I'm kind of at a loss to understand why that's a form of violence against women. So if it was a form of violence against women, then any man who prostitutes or pays a prostitute for sex is committing some act of violence against women, that would be against the law. And this woman has already told us that the act of prostitution is not against the law. So, they're kind of confusing matters here. Uh, where are we? And in the SNP's 2021 election manifesto, the party pledged to look at changing the law to the Nordic model. And so far, that's not happened. Two things don't surprise me there. They sometimes, somehow think Scandinavia is Nirvana, and it is now 2024, so three years after this election manifesto, this party pledge 
hasn't happened because that's what the SNP do. SNP being SNP. Miss Maguire added, in cities, some women may be visible in streets, but online and what is happening behind closed doors, I think people across Scotland would be shocked that in their own time, towns right across Scotland, women are being exploited in this manner. Well, you use the words again like exploited. If you were to say, I think people in, uh, would be shocked if in their own towns right across Scotland, women were engaged in the act of prostitution, I don't think anybody would be surprised at all. But you've got to get these wee keywords in here. We're playing SMP buzzword bingo and we managed to get exploited in. A model for Scotland is a survivor led. And the thing that struck me is the violence for women involved in prostitution in is a daily occurrence. Now, this is a totally different subject again because changing the laws of prostitution will never guarantee the safety of the women who are prostitutes, unfortunately. It's a whole separate thing. If you feel there is, the laws are inadequate to protect women from violence, then that is a whole separate subject that you're probably better looking at. But you obviously see prostitutes as different from women, or you wouldn't need separate laws for them. And I certainly do not hold that opinion of viewing those women who choose or unfortunately some of them may be forced into prostitution, are any different and deserve any uh, different levels of protection to any woman in society. But we're doing that SMP thing again, that we break down women into different categories when I think we should protect them all, the fairer sex and all that, or am I just old-fashioned? Oh, dearie me. It's not like any other job. In no other job are you at your daily risk of rape and violence. Potentially, yeah. It is an intolerable situation for a country that aims to be progressive and to have equality for men and women. We send entirely the wrong message by allowing this violence to continue. Who is allowing any violence to continue? What you're suggesting is that this law that you're suggesting about changing how things are legal and illegal would have some knock-on effect to the amount of violence. Well, I kind of think that people, if you change the law and you just said being a prostitute and the act of prostitution is illegal, I kind of lost how that would suddenly make it A, disappear, or B, be less violent. What you might want to do is protect the vulnerable women instead of trying to change laws that won't give them any more protection. However, this approach is, unlike, is likely to be opposed by the government's partners, the Greens. Unlike the SNP, they want to see the complete decriminalisation of prostitution. They've already told us it's not criminal. So that's the same thing as being decriminalised. So what we are now finding out is the Greens just want to do away with all the laws that protect prostitutes, you know, like pimping and such, and running whorehouses where the madame or the man who running it will make extortionate amounts of money from these women. So the Greens, I'm guessing, they want to just decriminalise everything to do with prostitution and allow pimps to be a proper job, a job that you could put in a mortgage application. What do you do for a living? I'm a pimp. Thank you to the Green Party. Seriously. Earlier this month, former Community Safety Minister Ash Regan claimed the Scottish Government pushed back prostitution laws to avoid a clash with the Greens. Oh my God. So, there we go. We are, um, this might be the new hate crime thing that will take three years to get through and when it comes through it will be totally unworkable and utter bollocks. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you've not already done so, please subscribe. But most importantly of all, unless you're this crackpot Ruth Maguire, have a great day. Cheerio bye now.